Hey everybody, so I wasn't gonna do another one of these videos, but then people made a request. Uh, if you didn't see last week, I did a video seeing if Kevlar jeans were stamp proof, is in motorcycle Kevlar jeans. Now, I knew it wasn't gonna work, as I said in the video, but not people don't seem to watch whole videos. They seem to skip past the intro and get to the meat of it, and then just, you know, ignore everything that was said in it, so whatever. Um, the entire point of making this ballistics gel was actually to make the second video, which was a patron exclusive, which is me testing my air guns against the ballistics gel. But before I did that, because I had all this ballistics gel, I thought, why don't I see if these are stab proof? I didn't even think to check if they were slash proof. And people said, can you check that? And I'm like, to be fair, it's probably more relevant. So I'm just gonna do that. I've got some more gel on what's left of it. And I'm gonna test the same things we tested previously to see if they are slash proof. Okay, so this time I was a little smarter about how I made my gel. I did it in a glass mold, but then put cling film over it in the hope that that would come unstuck easily. And it did. Okay, ignore these marks. It's not like I didn't have the camera recording just now. Okay, so some people asked me to find out whether the knee armor was stab proof. So we're going back to the original video first. Uh, and the answer to that is not really. I mean, it went through very easy that way, but it's, uh, it's just this stuff. You can see. Oh God, if I take that out, people are gonna say they wanted to see it slashed with it in. So we're gonna try that. Crikey. I mean, it cuts, it takes a bit to get through that actually. And this is really, I mean, look at this. This is D2 steel and that is the most pointiest point. I am fairly impressed by that. And that's, that's no Kevlar involved. These alone, you know, it's, it's soft foam. Okay, so now we'll be jeans, Kevlar, and the mesh liner. I pushed hard. We went through the Kevlar, uh, the jeans, sorry, no problem. We only just peeked through the Kevlar. I mean, there's a, you know, you've got a little, what's that, eight, eight mil deep little cut, but most of it, it didn't come through. So let's try that one more time. Cut through the outer, Kevlar protected it. Which of course is what Kevlar is supposed to do in this sort of application is abrasion protection and grazing protection, not penetration testing. But that's why I wanted to know, because you don't get to choose how that piece of car bodywork comes at you, whether it grazes or whether it stabs. And as I've mentioned, I have dealt with pieces of my own bike or the other person's car, I think it was my own bike, going through my knee and I still have damage because of it. So penetration injuries are a real thing in motorcycle crashes. You know, this is a super cheap pair of jeans. Let's just try the Kevlar alone. Can I? Nothing, just a little skim. Didn't even make a mark. There you go, that is a more conclusive and good thing to see that the as material is pretty strong on its own, but with a really sharp knife, with a really hard point really getting onto it, it doesn't do any more than, you know, you're gonna have a cut, but it's very much surface. Pretty impressive. So of course, then the question will be leather. And people said, this is interesting, um, leather's just skin, so of course it's gonna go through it. Leather isn't just skin, leather has been tanned. Leather was used as armor a long time ago because it can protect you if it's thick enough, if it's rawhide, if it's, a, you know, it depends on the tanning. I've done some leather work. Uh, I wanted to do a lot more. I've got the stuff to do it. I should be doing more of it. I'm just too busy. But anyway, this, yes, it's just skin, but it's been treated. But I do suspect that this is just going to slice. Ready? And to give you an idea, of the difference. Uh, do you know, I used to wear my, my full leather trousers when I'm riding my bike, if I'm riding something really fast, because I'm like, you know, I want the proper gear on. But I've got full armor in my Kevlar jeans and seeing this, I think I want my Kevlar jeans on. Well, apart from the fact my jacket and my trousers zip together overlapping on the back so you don't get that problem. And they're more resistant for more time. Um, right now, without anything, because this gel's got to go because it's getting old. This is just a slice, slice. 
Oh, hang on. That people are going to say, what about just a random slash? Without Kevlar, random slash. It's fine. <laughs> it's only when you really get on it. Still nothing. And just... Yeah. You have to, it's the law. Okay, actually, let's just test this as a, a random slash. It's through the top layer, but not through the next. What about in comparison to... I assume this stretch panel material will be a lot weaker. Uh, this way. Okay. Okay, so random slash it's done well with. Possibly tougher than the leather. Um, same as everything else in that regard. Okay. Right, well, I'm losing the light and it is absolutely freezing cold out here. But thank you for the suggestion of trying, well, actually, to be honest, people said you should have done this. You know what you can do, instead of saying you should have, you can say, could you try this next time? I, I will do video suggestions, particularly if they come from my patrons uh, and they're viable and interesting and stuff like that. But yeah, if you ask me, I'm quite willing to do them. So rather than just saying, oh, you should have, say, hey, can you do that next? Can you try this? And it was a fair point. Slash testing has actually shown a more interesting result than any of the stuff that I've done, other than the, uh, the shooting one, which is on Patreon. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, smack that like button. If you wanna help support this channel, please do that through Patreon. That gives you access to all the exclusives. And there's about 70 something exclusive videos from Q and A's to uh, actual riding videos, old school vlogs, like long style 20 minute vlogs from over the years, um, past couple of years. There's a lot of exclusive videos there, including the one shooting the gel, which was quite fun and interesting. So until the next one, Catch you next time.